Sleep that soothes away all worries, sleep that puts each day to rest, sleep that relieves the weary laborer and heals hurt minds, sleep the main course in life's feast and the most nourishing. So said Macbeth, and he was right. Just about every day some item shows up in my news feed about the impact of insomnia on our health. Disordered sleep increases the risk of stroke. Insomnia induces cognitive inefficiency and impairs memory. The effect of insomnia on development of Alzheimer's disease. These are just some of the typical headlines. Unfortunately, insomnia is not rare. Some 30% of the general population complain of it, uh, at least to some degree. So what help is there? Prescription meds like Zolpidem, that's Ambien, and Triazolam, Halcyon are available, but they come with a host of side effects. What about over-the-counter sleep aids? Magnesium is touted, but reports of its efficacy are all over the place. Same with melatonin. Some users claim benefits, others notice no effect. With melatonin, there's a further problem that when uh, what is on the label may not match what is inside the bottle. That brings us to another sleep aid, one that has been flying under the radar. The simple amino acid glycine. Glycine was first obtained in the early 19th century by French chemist Henri Braconneau, uh, who treated gelatin with sulfuric acid. Gelatin is a protein that can be produced by boiling animal bones, and it's composed of a number of amino acids, of which glycine is the most prominent. Some 200 years after Bracono, Japanese researchers were investigating the function of other amino acids in the human diet and used glycine as a placebo control, believing it to be biologically neutral. To their surprise, the subjects receiving glycine reported an improvement in insomnia. This precipitated a number of studies in which subjects who had sleep problems were given either glycine or a placebo. They subjectively reported an improvement in time taken to fall asleep, length of sleep, and greater satisfaction with their night's sleep. Polysomnography, a method of studying sleep by recording brainwave changes, eye movements, breathing rate, blood pressure, and electrical activity of the heart, confirmed the subjective reports. In a further positive finding, subjects performed better on memory tasks the day after they had taken glycine, and they felt more alert. Exactly why glycine improves sleep isn't clear, but it does act as an inhibitory neurotransmitter that reduces anxiety and protects the brain from overstimulation. Perhaps more importantly, glycine reduces core body temperature, a factor that is known to promote sleep. It also increases the release of serotonin, the body's precursor to melatonin. In terms of dosage, the studies use 3 grams, taken about half an hour before going to bed. Other than rare instances of nausea, no significant side effects were reported, even when the dose was tripled. For anyone struggling with insomnia, it seems reasonable to give glycine a try. It's readily available. Too bad Macbeth had no access to Amazon. And that today is our Cup of Joe.